My name is Darren Vigil Gray. I've been a painter, an artist, and a musician since 1975. I grew up on the Hickory Apache Reservation up in northern New Mexico. North of Santa Fe is a small town called Abiquiu, and Abiquiu in the old, old days was our uh, summer campground, actually. That whole area has a lot of significance for our people. I think it's a real fascinating area. I think it's one of the great meeting spots for the future, for humanity, for sure. Northern New Mexico is just a really interesting area. Everybody who gravitates here tends to pick up on the energy that's coming from our Mother Earth. And sometimes it's a little too much for people, you know, especially people who come from urban areas. They, 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 they try to exist here and sometimes they get pushed out. I came to the Institute of American Indian Arts in 1975. I think I was about 15 or 16 years old. I was eager, I was really eager for the lifestyle of an artist. It just fascinated me and um, it really stirs your soul and really uh, uh, makes you think, makes you, um, makes you want to go further and, and, and uh, try new things and have a new uh, um, look on life. I have really good memories of all of that. My paintings come from a very inner place in myself, in my psyche, in my spirit, and I'm, I rely on the spontaneity and the immediacy that happens in the moment without any preconception or anything. I, I, I don't even draw, I, I paint. So what happens in the moment is happening in the moment. That's what they, they say about being in the moment, you know. And um, if, if you're true to that, whatever you're bringing to that moment is gonna come out. I like to work on the floor a lot of the time. I walk around the painting from up, from up above. Uh, it's funny that you said Pollock because Pollock had that, that notion that when he brought the paintings onto the floor, that it had a more ceremonial kind of feeling or a connotation. He's, he's, he's written about this too quite a bit after uh, he actually visited the Southwest in the early 40s, maybe even the late 30s, and he was uh, brought into some native ceremonies, Navajo ceremonies, I think it was. He went to some uh, blessings of some sort and, um, and saw these Navajo medicine men painting these sand paintings, and they're, they're curing healing ceremonies for people who ask for them. And the medicine men have to create these mandalas almost, and these paintings to help cure and help the person heal. And it's quite fascinating, the whole um, native um, healing way and spiritual ways. I like knowing that, that there's something beyond ourselves that, that, that comes through us and it won't come through unless you want it, basically. It's powerful stuff when you really think about it. The spirit has a lot of um, energy. That's the exciting part of it because I like to make a lot of chaos first. So when I'm ready to work, I feel like everything happens really fast. Everything um, congeals. Mm. I, I, I make sense of what I'm trying to do. And yet, through all the movements, if you were to look at my chronology as an artist, there's that thread that runs through all of it. I've had a really good career. It came full circle for me, um, becoming an artist and then eventually segueing into this realm of music and being able to sell my art all over the world, actually. Be true to your essence and, and be true to your vision and don't let anything get in the way. And uh, I think if you just stay true to just that little concept it takes you so far